Hello. Welcome to Leeds House. Me, Kevin. And me, James. We're back. We're back for a Thursday episode that we ain't done in ages. That'll probably come out tomorrow. That's <laughs> what we do. We're going to try a bit of a shorter okay. one today, aren't we, James? Because it's, it's just not much going on. Game's Saturday. Got another podcast tomorrow. Just, just yeah, let's just chat a bit of shit for a bit. What do you reckon? Bit of shit is all we need right now. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, obviously, we've had a bit of a, a, a funny press conference today. Uh, have you watched it yet? I, I watched, it was on while I, I listened to it when I was driving home. So, yeah. And what did you think of it? It's just, yeah, he it's, 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 it just talks about football, doesn't he? Yeah, he's a manager, <laughs> isn't he? Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. He's one of those football managers that talk about football things. <laughs> I, I, yeah. I, I love watching it. It's honestly, yeah. it's it's really insightful for me and how he talks about football and what he thinks about stuff. Uh, I guess we can. I guess what we're going to chat today really is mainly about that and then a couple of funny bits yeah. that's come out with. So, I guess we could start with Very funny bits. Yeah, you know, South Archie Gray. What do you reckon? What do you think about that? Yeah, they're playing him constantly. That's a bit mad, isn't it? But. Um... Five, five it's games. It's a young kid, though. Yeah, five games in thirteen days. Oh, somebody said. Oh, yeah, I mean, obviously the intensity is massively different from us when we were younger. But when we were younger, I used to play from fucking wake up in the morning until it got dark at night. I was just yeah. playing all day. So is that is that that age where you could probably do it? But obviously the the level it is, you have to sort of manage him, I guess. But it's it's under nineteen. It's not like you know, it's not fucking championship. So yeah. Yeah, probably could have you done with him maybe sitting one game out, but we've got cover anyway, so he can he, he can he can rest up. It's no big deal. He's our best fit right back. Do you know what I mean? It's really yeah. good game there. And yeah, I, suppose. I think from from what I gathered, it's, oh, I guess he rested today as well. That means he's starting on on Saturday. Though, don't know from what you gathered from that. Well, he played really well, didn't he, in the yeah. last game? So there's no reason to change him. So. It's the same with Shaq when he played really well. There was no need to change him, but then he balls up a little bit, didn't he? But yeah, um, yeah, mate. If he's if he's fit and he plays, I'll be happy because he he's just he's a great player. He's going to yeah. get better. He's going to get better. I saw Paul Robinson say the other day that he, he's tipping Archie Gray to get to the England Euro twenty twenty four squad. I mean, it's it's, it's what's eight months away, uh, mate. Yeah, well, Paul that's... Robinson's whatever he says, it's a bit shit because you don't really trust what he says, and he, no. he's got he's got some proper hot takes that bloke has. Yeah, he has. He has usually negative about us as well. Oh, no, he? yeah. <laughs> Considering he's some play for us, yeah. big shit bag. He's always talking shit about us. Yeah, he's got a massive meathead though, and he? he just looks weird. When he played for Leeds, he looked like he had a massive. What can I use the word? He had a massive ass when he played for us, didn't it? It stuck stuck out in them shorts. He was a bit of a weirdo, and he still is now. I don't know how he gets on TV. That shit. They weren't they weren't exactly tight back in the day either, were they? The kid? No, big baggy shorts, man. That was funny. Okay, he used to, he used to put his breakfast on there in the morning. He, he did. He used to do on his ass. Baby back bacon and that. What? A, what? A... <laughs> <laughs> oh, so yeah, actually, Gray, he's, he's going to play. He's just going to play millions of games. It's mad they didn't play one game last year. He was going to be in for the season yeah. before as well, and then he's just played near enough every, every game this season so far. It's brilliant. But yeah, it, it says a lot about um, his ability when, yeah, he was 15, wasn't he, when he was on the bench, when Bial was put him on the bench. And it's like, you're not going to put, you're not going to pick him in your squad. I mean, I know we were really, really sure at the time, but there were still players you think they want to put ahead of him. So, Bial, I know it's if Bielsa's is picking him on his bench at fifteen, he's he's got to be something about him, mate. Um, he's he's coming from strength to strength, and he he just mm-hmm. he oozes like confidence in that around him. There's still look obviously a bit of shortfalls to his game, but I remembered like mm-hmm. Drew Bellingham was playing at that age, and look look at him now, eh? So shit, any shit, yeah, what shit player he is, mate? What a shit player. Maybe yeah. maybe best in the world right now. Yeah, he's he's he's. Performing at the best in the world right now, I'd say. Yeah. Or one of them, at least. That's but That's good. Yeah. But we don't talk about other teams' players anymore, do we? We'll talk about The league is easy anyway. The, le- is the league is easier than the championship. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's, he's got a good manager, though, hasn't he? He's got some good mm-hmm. players around him. So, yeah, let's stop talking about him. Right, what we're talking really? about youngsters. Well, we're talking about youngsters. Is that 
a lot young lad that we've got. What's his name? Gorman. Oh, Gorman or something. And, and all, yeah. the, all, all the all the big wankers are sniffing around him now. All the all the Middle East states want him. Yeah. All the big, like all them big boys was big cash, and yeah. we'll probably get next to nothing for him as well. I think he's, I think it's because his blood's oil. That's what yeah. I want him. Yeah. What's his full name? That's what it is. Don't know. Finley. Gorman. Finley. Finley. Finley Gorman or something like that. Yeah. Finley. Yeah. I watched, I watched a video of him on earlier because I was wanted to see what the fuss was about. Yeah, he's he's, he's top class. Isn't he? Is he is he the one that's um like fourteen and he's yeah. playing in, in the eighteens and that and he looks he looks about ten foot. Yeah. <laughs> He's like ripping yeah. shit out of everybody. He's yeah. really good on the ball. He's like, you know, when people say wonder kid. Yeah. He's yeah. Like he's one of those. I've mate. seen a little bit of him. A little bit of him, yeah. It, hopefully we can keep hold of him then. But... I hope so. Do you remember when we got, remember when we got all them years ago and we got absolutely hammered by, by Chelsea for all the way, what was it, Tom Tywo and that Michael Woods. They paid £5 million yeah. for him. And I think they went on to great careers, didn't they? Yeah, I think he's working in like Tesco or something now, isn't he? Weird. It was mad to them. We were sold as players. We lost Danny Rose. Went like that as well, didn't he? It's weird yeah, stuff. they they're after him, weren't they? As well, but he yeah. he stayed with us. But then he just went to Tottenham. Yeah. Did he actually play a first team game, Danny Rose? I don't remember him playing the first. I don't think. I think he did. You know, I don't think he might have on the bench once, maybe. I really can't. I don't think. I know the others two didn't, but yeah. Yeah. Well. We're, we're, we're always been a breeding ground for talent. I mean, Mika Richards played for Leeds when he was younger. Do you know what I mean? And now look at him. Great pundit. Great pundit. He's a great pundit. I like them, you know. Like them. Who, uh, why are you, who's your favourite pundit, James? My favourite pundit? Yeah. God. Des Lionel. Or like, or like commentator. Des Lionel. Des Lionel. All right. Back Just in like... the day. First watching match of the day. That stash just floats onto the screen. Like a wonder, wonder, wonder stash. Do you, do you miss Addy Gray and Richard Keyes? Keyes? I do, you know, because they were quite funny, but they they're a bit naughty, weren't they? Yeah, they're a bit. They're a bit. They were very, very twattish to say the least. But yeah, I think mine's Ali McCoist. I like Ali McCoist. Yeah, I do like Ali McCoist actually. Do you know what I was thinking about Richard Keyes? Yeah, because he's really hairy, he is isn't he? Hairy, yeah. And then Andy Gray's face is a bit monkeyish. Yeah. So if you whack them together, you'll get King Louie from the Jungle Book. Yeah, you will, yeah. That's true. You would, yeah. Why have we never thought of that before? I don't know. They just created something. Maybe that's what they were, what King Louie was based off. They were watching Monday Night Football. Disney was watching Monday Night Football one night and went, That's it. He's really airy. We've got it. We've got it. We've got yeah, it. we've got King Louie. <laughs> yeah, we've got King Louie. <laughs> right, okay. So uh, what about, uh, I'll obviously go back to this press conference now because we've got some, some really funny stuff to talk about towards the end about one of our former players who threw some legal action in there. He's going to be playing a lot of football. Uh, Willie Nonto, back. Could be back. back. Possibly back in the squad. Well, I think he'll be in the squad where he's going to be on, on that bench, at least. That's yeah, good. yeah, definitely. He's yeah. been playing for nearly a week, apparently, they said. Not a week, sorry. A couple of, uh, about three, four days. Been training. A couple of hours. A couple of hours, yeah, to go straight in. It's, 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 yeah, good. that's happening. Mm. It's good that he missed the international break as well. You know, he needs yeah. a bit of time out to sit on the naughty steps. Still, he's still on the naughty step, isn't he? he still needs to bang in twenty yeah. goals this this year. He is on the naughty step, but he's lucky because, like, if he'd have played, England would have lost the game. So, oh, yeah, you went to that anyway, didn't you? Yeah, I did, yeah. on that. How was it? How was it? I mean, I enjoyed it. It was all right. Yeah. Webley's yeah. nice looking stadium, but I'm, oh my god! Oh, I'm up. I was there with Loz, and uh, she said that. Because uh, oh she doesn't go to many football matches. I've taken to a few this year. She went. Yeah. Th- she went. This is the tier system of atmospheres. She went. Uh, what was it? Coventry, uh, England ladies, Wembley, Ellen Road. That's what she said. And I couldn't be more proud of than ever. She goes. Yeah, the atmosphere is a bit. It was just like full of kids. England games. When you go to an England game, it's like full of like kids and stuff. Yeah, and families yeah. and that. It's like a day out yeah. for them and. I mean, it was rammed. Yeah. It was, it was, there was loads of people there, but it's just it, the atmosphere is not like a club game. It's not like you don't have ultras there and big fans and that. You don't have like the the cop ends and anything like that. It's, it's no. just just weird. The, the away the, the away t- contingent are usually quite wild, aren't they? Yeah, it's, 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 we were quite close to to the Italians, <laughs> mate. They were they were brilliant, but they were also crazy, man. They're just like giving us abuse like the entire time. I was just like just sitting here watching football, mate. 
But yeah, it was, it was also nice to see Calvin Phillips as well. He nearly got set for the first two minutes, mate. He's, he was all over. He looked a bit, he looked a bit slow to say the least. Uh, he put in some couple of dodgy tackles, man. Because he should have been sent off. I think he even said it himself after the game. They should have been sent off. Probably frustration, isn't it? Just yeah, he's, he's probably a little bit. He's going to move. Yeah, Chad, any definitely. Uh, I mean, if we went up, and uh, obviously at the end of the season, instead of Man City, I would expect that something would be done. But I don't think he's going to be waiting around. He'll be he'll be off no, anywhere. He'll be off to some yeah. Newcastle, especially with that a guy getting uh, done for betting. That Tonali. Wow, yeah. yeah, yeah Jesus all, Christ. Yeah, just all lads up down here. So Phillips could probably, I reckon, might go Newcastle by the look of it. AC Milan? Uh, Is it AC Milan? Who, Tonali? Or Inter? Yeah. AC, AC Milan. Do you think they knew? <laughs> Do you think they knew it was coming up? I don't know. Oh, it, came out, just... <laughs> it came out of the news today that they said they didn't know. But mm. He's getting banned for about 20 years. We'll yeah. get full we'll sell him for 50 million. Uh, Lucas will all bet they're crying their eyes out. Yeah, I bet they are. But yeah, they'll probably just go after Phillips on loan in January. Well, yeah. I mean, if I, I mean, would you take him back? Would you I'll, take Phillips back? I'll, I would take Phillips back. Yeah. I mean, I'd take the, the Phillips back that played for us. I mean, even even when he's not been playing for a while, he's still getting into the England starting eleven. He's played well in, the, in like some of the games that I've watched. He looked a bit off at the night, but, but he's he's still not there, yeah, even yeah. though he's not playing many games. It's really, yeah. it's a weird thing to say. So, fit firing Calvin Phillips, I'd take him back. Uh, I wouldn't want him. Yeah. To, I wouldn't want him to hamper the obviously the futures of Archie Gray and Ampadu, though. That's one of the reasons why I'd think about it a little bit. But you can't have yeah. too many good players in a football team, can you? No, no, because I mean, you've you you've got Ampadu that can do that breaking up job that he does. I mean, his pass is pretty good as well, to be Ampadu. Really good. Really uh, good. Um, and then you have got Grev as well as backup. I mean. We won't even need him. We probably, to be honest with you. we probably would need him if we went back in the prem. But I don't, we don't, I don't know, that, mate. We? Because what's the point of buying these two players? Then if we're just gonna, if we, because the idea is to go up, isn't it? So it's like you yeah. buy these players. What is the point in it? Like if they're not, if they're not able to play in the Premier League, I know you can't really tell until they get there. But if the idea of if us to go up, and then you're bringing in these midfielders, you but you're buying them uh, relatively cheap, I know. You'd like to think that they're like, well, they'll be playing in the Premier League as well if we go up. Otherwise, it's fucking, but you know, that's just my thought. Not, it, not even playing now. Exactly. Well, exactly. Exactly. So he's back up at the moment, isn't he? So. Well, he mentioned that in the press conference today. He was glad that Gruev got some minutes, yeah. which was which is good because he needed that. Because he, he ain't getting any leads. <laughs> he ain't getting any leads. It's a shame, really, because we've not had a chance to see him do anything. You know, like no. have, have, a, have a nice block in a game and do something good. That, that's obviously going to change, especially coming up to Christmas, man. We're coming into a big period. I think we've, we've got three games in the next like, week, haven't we, as well? Yeah, I mean, after the next international, I said there's a big there's a big period of games, games there, yeah. before the next one. So, and I, yeah, as you say, over Christmas when it gets colder and it's Tuesday nights, there'll be rests, I guess. Yeah. And, and the unless you're out to grey and just play every single minute of yeah. the, of the of every game, because of the way we play is is a lot focused, isn't it? It's like we are mm-hmm. bursts in games where we go really really high intensity, and then they just give it to Pascal and just <laughs> messes around it at the back. So yeah, I mean, yeah. maybe the the lads are used to it, and maybe we won't get that many injuries. But I mean, what we had maybe. so far, Spence and Nonto, um, yeah, and that's they're the, like the main ones that we've had so far, and obviously. Uh, uh, Debbie does Dallas is going to be back soon too so we'll see we had C- Cooper I know Cooper saw like a more of a rotational player now but he got injured at the start first game yeah they, they will get injured I mean yeah Rutan was, was injured at the yeah he was injured at the start oh, right yeah yeah I mean, I mean if we wrong. if we don't get injuries it'll be a fucking miracle oh, and I'll be God. really happy about it but it's more than likely that we will so but, um, should we talk about as as should we talk yeah, about someone who's coming back from injury in a minute mate because I heard on I heard Faka say the name today. He's back. Is he Brown? No. Oh no. Sorry. Yeah, go on. What do you, what do you mean, Izzy Brown? What would you say, Izzy Brown? He's still injured. I think. I thought he might be back. Oh no. He's he's, he's, he's not. I'm on, I'm talking about our mustache detective, mate. He's back in training. I know. I've seen him. How, seen how him. chuffed are you with that? Just glowing, wasn't he? He's just. 
There he is, the, the magic man himself. He's going he's gonna to be so good for us this year. So good. I hope so. Imagine, he, imagine, imagine he just keeps getting injured and we go without him. No, without Furpo. <laughs> I'd be just wounded that we didn't get to see him play in the championship because he's got... I wouldn't of... care if we were out, mate. <laughs> Honestly, I wouldn't care if we went up. <laughs> but he's back. If he doesn't play a whole game in the championship and we go up, yeah. I will. I won't care. Well, he's back, That's though. All. He's back. Furpo is back. And... The whole of Leeds yeah. should rejoice that he's back. Yeah, I mean, not the whole of the Leeds, just maybe people who like him, I guess. Yeah. But um, when it's playing, we'll support him. We always do. Of course. Uh, but when it's not playing like now, we can we can laugh at how pants has been for, since it's been. <laughs> well, okay, let's hope he turns on. Why don't we switch to the to the full back now? The other right, the, the other right back, Jed Spence could be back in about two weeks as well. Yeah, that's the one I'm looking forward to, mate. Big time. I think I think he, I think having him, I keep saying it, I keep having having him in our team, the way we're playing, I think it puts us on another level. Oh, I do too. generally think that. Let's just hope. I think he's that good. That he gets back soon. I mean, he's not known to be an injury prone player, so it must be no. like a, obviously a half a half decent injury for him to be out. So I guess when he comes back, Farker doesn't rush people. I mean, unless you name Sam Barrow. He doesn't really rush people back, does he? So I'm guessing mm. it, it'll wait till they're, they're fully in training, not throw people in uh, like we used to do with yeah. Sir, pa- Sir Patrick Bamford. Yeah, yeah. Um, mate, yeah, I just I, I hope he hasn't... I've mentioned him earlier, or Izzy Brown, because I was looking forward to him when he came to us as well to get him fit and playing well for us. Yeah. It never happened, so... Full. Did he come in BS? not going to have his spent. Izzy Brown. Yeah. That's what he got. First one. That's what he got. First one. First one. Remember, because he come on, it was in. Uh, he took that free kick against Derby, and everyone was like, "Oh, ooh, this is gonna be his moment." And he didn't have a moment. Yeah, we, we Remember some of the lone players we retired got, now, any? Retired, retired now, any? Remember some of the lone players that we got in that Bielsa first season? Jamal Blackman yeah. broke his Lu- back or something, didn't he? Yeah, Lewis Baker. He, 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 he didn't he, do that bad, did he? He was really, not really. He was a very, he was very sort of low profile. He didn't really do anything great, or didn't. Yeah. He didn't really make mistakes. He did really well at Reading when he went there for a bit, didn't he? he scoring goals, nothing. But now they're in League One. Shame. Who else did we get in? Like they had a three that I can remember. There's probably um, a few more, but obviously there was John Kevin Augustine as well. But that was I think that might be the season after. Yeah, it was. was he was Eddie and Katia's replacement, man. Why did we play in Katia more? I mean, he's he's still well liked. Any, I like Eddie and Katia. He's a good lad. He scored, he scored some yeah. goals for us that year. You know, people don't remember that. No, he did. He did, but he just he just wasn't suited. He, he might be now, but at the time, he just he, he his gameplay wasn't suited to, to the way we were playing. Back then, weren't he? Just yeah, around the box. Yeah, it looks like Arteta's got him to try and run a lot more now. So. Yeah. I mean, that's one thing that I've I've always liked about Bamford is his ability to get around the pitch, well, get around the top of the pitch. And he used because he he went for that season in the Premier League, and he just looked like he gained a yard of pace and everything, didn't he? And I think that was the that was his like that was his peak. And after the, his peak, he just went and broke. Just <laughs> well, we I don't think he's fixed either, but we'll see. He's gonna, he's going to end up starting a game soon because every manager seems to like him. Just, just the fans don't, which is brilliant. I do. I don't dislike him. He's just just a bit comical at times, isn't he? Yeah. Um, but he does give his ass. He does give. I'm about to give his ass. Then I don't know why he gives his ass. He gives his all for when he plays and he tries. But he needs to stop that stupid cheating, man. It drives no, me insane. It, it drives me insane as well. He needs yeah, to grow much, sideburns because the way he gets his haircut is wild weird. He just gets like a, a shave down there, doesn't he? It's like it's like yeah. it's wild weird. Sort your hair out as well, Patrick Bamford. It, he needs to have a chat with um. Furpo and see about growing a moustache or something, just to add some, add some some grit to his face because he still looks like he's about seven in his face. <laughs> Would it be good if Patrick Bramble oh, just shaved his head off, grew a massive beard, or took some time out and went to the gym and come back looking like like a big Viking and started just on running into people? Had, I don't know. His, his legs out. can barely hold his weight now, mate. <laughs> if you put any more weight on top of that, that you he won't have any legs. Yeah, right, Leeds fans. I've got weird, there's just some, some good news that Fabrizio Romano tweeted earlier. I'm sure a lot of you would have heard about this. Wait there, can we just take a moment to just... Bastard. You have to absorb this, you have to take this in, guys, because nothing comes sweeter than the downfall of an ex-player. Yeah, 
especially when they were being a bit of a prick. Um, I'll let you do this one, James, because I've just been chatting, so I'll let you, in, you can talk about this one. Our favourite American. Captain America. Captain America. He's actually Steve Rogers. Uh, yeah. Tyler Adams. He he kept, he went into the machine and come out weaker. <laughs> yes. He went into the Leeds leg fixing machine and we didn't fix it. We didn't we fix made it. it. We, we made it worse. We made it worse. Rob Price. You legend. You get my seal of approval. Yeah. So, uh, go on then, James. How long is he out for? Till till February. Till February. Valentine's Day. Yeah, till, till then it looks I've like. I've made the Valentine's Day be up there. Bournemouth, Bournemouth will be down by then. And he'll have his mate Sinistera to sit next to him as well, won't he? Because he'll be injured for most of it too. Yeah. Sometimes some, the world works in mysterious ways, doesn't it? It it does. And yeah. it's really nice when it when the karma works the other way. Yeah, it does. So I think, yeah, we could sign off on that now, really. Leeds fans, Adams is out till February. He's not going to play any football matches. Uh, I, don't, I don't like to laugh at people getting injured, but... but it's a bit funny. Know. It's a bit fucking funny, isn't it? It's a bit funny. <laughs> I'm gonna throw. I need to go. I'm gonna put in some legal action. No, you're not, mate. You're gonna go rip my contract up. And he's like, "We'll just rip your leg up, then, mate." <laughs> That's brilliant. Right, Kate James. I think we'll finish it. Yeah, this is gonna be a short one. Uh, well, where are we tomorrow, James? We are on not another Leeds podcast with our compadre Daniel mm. Daniel Mountain. Um, yeah, we're looking forward to that. Lockie's on there, isn't he? He is, yeah. We've got, He'll have... got a Star Wars-themed one, haven't we, this week? So last week it was X-Men, so we've got Star Wars this this week. He loves making those yeah. like, graphics and that, don't he? That, it's, it's a high yeah, but we get, week. We get, we get we to do... be in a lot of movies every week, Kev. Yeah, I know, yeah. Well, next week... It's... Amazing. Go over and see what goes on next week. But, yeah. Next week it's Re- Rita Sue and Bob 2. Rita Sue and Bob 2. All right, I guess, guys, we'll finish up there. Thanks for watching oh. slash listening. Uh, Cheers, guys. We'll be back soon. Thanks. We will be back. I'm definitely Bob. Bye. I'm definitely Sue. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>